uh, I guess looking back, you know, to realise that we are in a quarter final and what a privileged sort of position we are to be in and, you know, to get out of that tough pool and, you know, even even though last week was a huge disappointment and we had our chance, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we've we've got a quarter final tomorrow, you know, and a full crowd tomorrow at, at Twickenham. So, you know, well aware of the position that we're in and, you know, and we talked this morning about the fact that, you know, none of us want to go home yet and, you know, to come out of that pool and then, you know, say to, to lose tomorrow, you know, it'd be hard to take, you know, we've, we've put in a lot of hard work and, uh, look, it hasn't changed too much. I, you know, it's a bit of a challenge at times, and uh, you know we've lost a few key players, but um, you know that's just the way it goes. And you know the guys that have come in, you know, can do a job, and uh, you know um, be ready for for tomorrow. After that game, we could have lost three and get three in a row, and um, could have been the worst Springbok team of all time. So um, we had to, like Dwayne said, focus a little bit more. But it was a massive, massive pressure for us. Massive, massive pressure, and. Um, I think I'm very proud of the way the guys, each one, each one, each member of the, in the team and, and management team stood up after that. Um, we had two, de two decisions. We could either lie down or um, or stand up, and I think we should stand up. And hopefully tomorrow we can stand up again. I think it, it, it's going to be it's going to be played um, up front by the forwards, so it's going to be a, a massive physical battle for us. And um, the Welsh won't back down. They've got a they've got a big pack and. Um, you know, it's it's all about the inches. So hopefully we um, we can go out there and uh, we can just deliver and um, you know make make the guys next to you proud and uh, and and the coaches. Yeah.